Bro, are we good to go? We're good to go. Okay, let's see if the girls are ready. How'd you do, I? See you've met my faithful hand in hand. Cold fall night, October 1965, Isabel, that would be the mother of the bride, got out the night to go to the bathroom. <laughs> this, of course, is not unusual when you're at the end of your pregnancy. Oh. So when she had finished, or thought so, and the water kept on coming, she did the next natural thing which was go away for sleeping husband in the bed. What may not be quite the norm is for said husband to bound out of the bed in a panic and slip in the water that had just you know, <laughs> laying flat on his back in the bedroom floor. <clears throat> and this marks the arrival of their firstborn child, Elaine. He's just a little broad dying because when you not, he thought you were the candy man. I'd like to welcome you ladies to our fans. She's gorgeous, she's beautiful, long and happy here. Don't get strong now by the way I look. Don't judge a book by its cover. I'm not much of a man by the light of day, but by night I'm one hell of a lover. Harry was a little, had a little odd here. He didn't have... He wasn't sure what his priorities were, so we kind of had full priorities. So you got just married and go leave school. So I think we saw the two priorities the most. So let's raise a toast to the least. Play you a sign. You look like you're both pretty groovy. There was one particular thing that was reserved only for Elaine. I wouldn't take her if she was strong with diamonds. Oh, I'm sorry, you are. That's not too abysmal. We could take in an old Steve Reeves movie. I'm glad we caught you at home. Could we use your phone? We're both in a bit of a hurry. Right. We'll just say where we are, then go back to the car. We don't want to be any worry. Well, you got caught with a flat wheel. How about that? Well, babies, don't you panic. It was a beautiful, beautiful ceremony today. Your vows were very moving and very uh, funny as well. We all had a good laugh. Thank you for being here and it was a beautiful day. By the light of the night, it'll all seem all right. I'll get you a satanic mechanic. You asked Elaine who her favorite uncle was growing up. I have no idea what she would say. <laughs> <laughs> if you ask Elaine who her least favorite uncle was growing up, I know exactly what she would say. Just a set, James, must I know? Transsexual Transylvania. <laughs> Why don't you stay for the night? Or maybe a bite. I could show you my favorite obsession. I've been making a man with blonde hair and a tan. And he's good for relieving my tension. When I was 18, uh, I was involved in a, in a little accident that put me in the hospital for a couple of months. And uh, it sort of brings me to the main point that, I'm, that I wanted to get to here. That's about Elaine's sense of family and loyalty, and something that I didn't even realize at the time. Um, no one was more surprised than me to see Elaine at the hospital every day for two and a half months. Never empty-handed, always, you know, it was, it was quite a commitment. The point is, the one thing that I know without a shadow of a doubt, 
I said, if Elaine loves you, there's absolutely nothing she won't do for you. And the other side of the coin, of course, if she hates you. <laughs> From transsexual Transylvania <laughs> Hit, hit, I'm just a sweet transvestite Transvestite From transsexual Transylvania <laughs> So, come up to the lab and see what's on the slab. I see you shiver with anticipation. But maybe the rain is really to blame. So I'll remove the cause. <laughs> but not the symptom. <laughs> <laughs> 